All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. my friends, and welcome to Rotten Tomatoes Countdown. Let's face it, Keanu Reeves may be from Canada, but he is a darn national treasure here in America. I mean, from Bill and Ted to The Matrix to John Wick, the guy's acting career spans numerous decades, many franchises, plus a whole bunch of box office hits and critical acclaim. Number 10, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. This is a movie that made Keanu Reeves the patron saint of woe. This film features Keanu and Alex Winter as the main characters, two dudes who are just trying to form a band but end up in a time-traveling phone booth with George Carlin so that they don't fail history class. Alex and Keanu not only reprised their roles in the 1991 and 2020 sequel films, but they actually also provided voices for a Bill and Ted animated series that first ran on CBS in 1990. And all of that epic franchising started with this one, where the critics' consensus says that Reeves and Winter are just charming, goofy, and silly enough to make this fluffy time travel adventure work. Dudes, you guys are gonna go back in time. Yeah! You are going to have the most excellent adventure through history. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! No way. No way. Number nine, John Wick. The movie about one of the most deadly assassins and inarguably one of the most stylish too, according to me. Kicking off what would become at least a four film franchise, this movie introduced Keanu's John Wick character, a retired and legendary assassin who sets out for some serious revenge after his really cute puppy is killed. And John Wick was followed by not only multiple film sequels, each one more successful than the last, by the way, but also video games and comic books. Critics' consensus calls it a satisfying return to action for Keanu Reeves. And my consensus is that is literally the cutest dog I've ever seen on screen. And your son took that from me. Oh God. Stole that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Number eight, River's Edge. In what people often consider a breakout role for Keanu Reeves, this 1986 film follows a group of teenagers in Northern California who are forced to deal with their friend's murder of his girlfriend. Now, among the very strong ensemble cast is Keanu Reeves' Matt, one of the few kids in this film who actually seems to have a conscience. <laughs> Speaking of which, veteran New York Times critic Janet Maslin called the young cast in this movie natural and credible, while specifically calling out Keanu Reeves as being affecting and sympathetic which I think most of us would agree on those two words. Shouldn't have hit me. <sighs> Don't be stupid, Tim. You thinked on John. <sighs> I'm your brother. Give me the gun. Number seven, The Matrix. The movie that really changed all our lives. I mean, in what turned out to be a cultural phenomenon at the turn of the century, Keanu Reeves stars in the film as a computer hacker named Neo who uncovers an evil cyber intelligence. Now, what's really interesting is that the screenplay was reportedly sent to Sandra Bullock at one point with the suggestion of rewriting the lead as a female. Get this, Will Smith, Nicolas Cage, Brad Pitt, Val Kilmer, and Leonardo DiCaprio all turned down this role, paving the way for Keanu to win the role over Johnny Depp. I mean, can you say star power? Trinity! Help! Six, John Wick Chapter 2. Now this sequel once again follows Keanu Reeves as retired super assassin John Wick, but this time he is forced back into his old life to fulfill an oath to a crime lord. Don't you just hate when that happens? Keanu is so committed that he did three more months of training on top of what he learned the first time around in things like jiu-jitsu, driving, and marksmanship. So 
of course, number five is going to John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. I mean, this film checks in as the highest grossing franchise installment on the tomato meter so far. And once again, is directed by Chad Stahelski and starring Keanu Reeves. And it didn't take long for Chapter 3 to become the highest grossing film in the franchise, 10 days to be exact, on its way to earning over $326 million worldwide. I mean, that is good enough to green light a fourth film. Very well, my son. Cast aside your weakness and reaffirm your fealty to the table. Mr. John Wick, great and truth. What any? Number four, always be my maybe. In what is one of my favorite cameos of all time, this Netflix film stars Ali Wong and Randall Park as Sasha and Marcus, two childhood friends who cross paths 15 years after a falling out and then try and start a relationship despite their very different lives. What's amazing about Keanu in this movie is that he actually plays a version of himself who is dating Sasha. Now, director Nanachka Khan once considered the casting of Keanu Reeves to be a pipe dream. But it turns out that Keanu was actually a huge fan of Randall Park's stand-up and said that he was honored to be involved. I mean, what a guy. So where's your man? Oh, there he is. Number three, much ado about nothing. This romantic comedy is based on William Shakespeare's play of the same name, and it was actually adapted for the screen and directed by Kenneth Branagh, who also stars in it. Now, among the stellar ensemble cast, Keanu Reeves is Don John, the evil half-brother to Denzel Washington's character. And while he was sharing the screen with actors like Denzel and Kenneth and Kate Beckinsale was big for Keanu, he actually also said that during filming, he befriended actor Brian Blessed, who taught him how to meditate, which I just really love. <laughs> Let me bid you welcome, my lord. Being reconciled to the prince, your brother, I owe you all duty. I thank you. I am not a many words but i thank you number two speed keanu's career was on the fast track by 1994 so it's very fitting that he starred in this film as a cop trying to stop a bomb from blowing up on a city bus that can't go below 50 miles per hour now first time director jan de bont who would direct twister a couple years later brought in joss whedon a week before filming began to rework keanu's character to be more earnest and it must have worked because Speed grossed over $350 million and it won two Oscars in sound categories. And the critics' consensus calls it taut, tense, and energetic with outstanding performances from Keanu Reeves and his co-stars. I'm the guy with the plan because I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. Last but not least, number one, Toy Story 4. Now, with three very certified fresh installments already in the franchise, this one finds the usual group of toys with a new owner and on a new adventure. Keanu Reeves joined an already legendary voice cast as Duke Kaboom, a Canadian daredevil toy with a motorcycle, which was actually inspired by real-life stuntman Evil Knievel, whose toy commercials from the 1970s were very similar to Duke's in the film. It also happened to win the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, making this the first franchise to win the award twice. Whoa. All thanks to Duke Kaboom? I mean, sure, why not? Rijon. Rijon was so excited when he got me after Christmas. It was the happiest boxing day of my life. That's Duke Kaboom, riding the amazing Kaboom stuck cycle. Kaboom! I was ready to finally do what I was made to do. Kaboom! But when Rijon realized I couldn't jump as far as the toy in the commercial. It's a commercial! 
It's not real. Rajon threw me away. It's not fair. Why, Rajon? Why? <laughs> Well, there you guys have it. Our list of the man, the myth, and the legend that is Keanu Reeves. Be sure to stay tuned to Rotten Tomatoes for more of the entertainment content you love. Until next time, I am a major Keanu Reeves fan and your host, Naz Perez. And we'll see you back here for more top tens on the Rotten Tomatoes countdown.